To help us present this award on behalf of Naleo, please welcome an immediate past member of the Naleo Educational Fund Board of Directors, the Honorable Lucille Roival Allard. Thank you so much, Teresa, and thank you for your wonderful commitment to Naleo. I am truly honored to join in this annual celebration of my father's legacy. I thank Naleo and Naleo Educational Fund Board of Directors for their commitment to my father's mission by ensuring that everyone has a voice in democracy. When the Edward R. Roybal Award for Outstanding Public Service was established in 1999, it was with the goal of recognizing leaders who embody my father's commitment to public service, the Latino community, and all Americans. I know if my father were here, he would be proud of how much our community has grown and what we have accomplished since he first founded Naleo. His commitment to the full integration of Latinos in the American political system, which once may have seemed like a distant dream, has become a tangible reality. Because of the leadership and passion of elected and appointed officials like the United States Senators who we are honoring this evening. The Gang of Eight put aside bipartisan politics in order to focus on immigration reform, an issue of vital importance to the social and economic health of our country. Their exceptional leadership exemplifies the true meaning of the Edward R. Roybal Award for Outstanding Public Service. Before I invite the members of the Gang of Eight on the stage, I would like to invite Naleo President California State Senator Alex Padilla, Naleo Vice President from the State of Florida, Ventura City Commission, Luz Urba Urbaez Weinberg, and the Chair of the Naleo Educational Fund, Pauline Medrano, to join me. If you would please come up on stage. Now please let us give a warm welcome to this year's honorees, United States Senators, the Honorable Charles Schumer and the Honorable Bob Menendez. Bueno, muy buenas noches. Un placer estar aquí con Naleo, una organización que tengo gran aprecio para ellos y sobre todo en esta noche magnífica eh, reconociendo eh, un líder 
eh, que hizo paso para nuestra comunidad en el Royal Bow. And for those of you who are terrorized that I might continue for the next few minutes in Spanish, let me just say that I'm thrilled to be here tonight. I am a big uh, admirer of Naleo. I was recounting to your president and uh, your board chair that uh, it is uh, the only organization of many that I have ever been invited to join that I actually join on their board because I truly believe in the mission that is Naleo and its advocacy and its work. I am very honored to uh, join uh, a group of colleagues, and I know I, I believe Senator Schumer and I are the only ones here tonight, but who uh, in fact came together uh, for a cause uh, a cause that is greater than any individual one of us, uh, a cause for which we shed a lot uh, of uh, time together in trying to come to a common determination to move forward. And in that process, built some very strong friendships, but also uh, created a opportunity to really touch the lives of millions uh, of our fellow uh, Americans, as far as I'm concerned, because they work every day at some of the most challenging jobs uh, in our country, adding to the greatness of America, and all they need is an opportunity to come from the darkness into the light and fully participate in our society. And millions more, millions more to the different elements of the legislation, both those who are, as I said, undocumented and those who are documented. Uh, I am convinced that what we did in the Senate, if it was placed on the floor of the House of Representatives, would pass with bipartisan votes. It just needs an opportunity to be considered. And it is our hope still today that the work that took place in the Senate on a bipartisan basis with a strong bipartisan vote at a time in which we do not see many bipartisan votes uh, uh, in the Senate on momentous issues, uh, but this one brought us together, that that can still lead the way in the House and that the House of Representatives can ultimately find its own way forward to try to achieve uh, the opportunity to promote American security, to create greater prosperity for the country, and to live up to our history as a nation of immigrants. Uh, I know for myself that I refuse to be part of a community and to be part of a people who somehow are viewed as second-class citizens. And we will not accept that status until we have a type of comprehensive reform vision. Because even though we talk about the undocumented every day, still today, and for hundreds of cases in my office, U.S. citizens and legal permanent residents unlawfully detained in immigration raids because of the happenstance of who they are, what they look like, how they speak, and where they live, that is not acceptable in America, and we cannot accept that as a community. And so that's why our drive forward on this is yes about millions who are in the shadows and yet are creating such vibrancy in America, but it's about the dignity of each and every one of us. As I say to every group who already is empowered, who already has power, if you think that this is about someone else, you're sadly mistaken. This is about each and every one of us. And so uh, we're not gonna stop until we ultimately achieve our goal and the final thing I'll say, uh, uh, you know, Ed Royalball was a, a tremendous leader and faced enormous challenges at what was the beginning, the incipiency of our growth and power in this country. Uh, and he faced his own set of challenges of discrimination at the, at, throughout his uh, career. But he plowed ahead. I am convinced that the ir irresistible course of history as it relates to this is that we will achieve this goal. History uh, cannot stop it. Nothing will stop our opportunity to achieve it. We just want it to be done sooner rather than later. 
Y ahora es el momento que la Cámara de Representantes, now the House of Representatives, must cast a vote for comprehensive immigration reform. Thank you for your work, and please continue to drive this message that we need immigration reform, we need it now, and we need a vote in the House of Representatives to move it forward. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. It's an honor for me to be here. I want to thank Arturo Vargas, uh, Pauline Madrano, and Alex Padilla for the great work that they all do here at Naleo. I want to thank my great pal, friend, and compatriot in the fight for immigration reform. He will never rest till it's done, Bob Menendez. He's catching a train. So I want to first, uh, I am so honored by this award. I served with Eddie Roybal in the House for 18 years. And he had everything it took to be a fine legislator. He was smart, he was tough, and he was nice. And we have to be all three to pass immigration reform. This bill is smart. It is smart because it harnesses the energy and strength and intelligence and drive of millions of Americans who are now here and millions of Americans who will come here and says, we want to unchain you. We want to set you free. And when you work hard and are allowed to work and live and become a citizen, you will help yourselves, you will help your families, but you will help America most of all. The CBO showed, it showed, that if we pass the bill that Bob Menendez, myself, Michael Bennett, Jeff Flake, John McCain, Lindsey Graham, Marco Rubio, and um, Dick Durbin put together, they showed that our GDP would grow three and a half percent more than any Republican tax cut, more than any Democratic spending program. And it's obvious why. Because immigrants work so hard, and they produce, and they grow the economy and grow the future of America. So this bill is smart, like Eddie Roybal. It is also, he was a nice guy. This bill is nice. It says to millions who are suffering in the shadows, the good side of America will turn to you. And we will welcome you, as America has done for immigrants for centuries and generations. And we will embrace you. And we will say to you, you should become an American. We want you to become an American. We want you to live in freedom and out of the shadows and be able to work and travel and live in every way that every, everyone else can. It's fair, it's good, it's nice. And Eddie would remind us we must be tough. There are forces against us who try to stop immigration reform. They try to stop it in every way. They come up with every excuse. And we know, we know that they are on the wrong side of history. We know that they are not doing what's good in America. We know that some of their motivation is not the right and pure and good motivation that it has always been in the heart of America. We know that. But we know we can be tougher than them because we know we are right and we will persist. We will persist until comprehensive immigration reform is the law of the land. We will persist until the 11 million in the shadows are brought out. We will persist until we welcome many new people into this country. We will persist till we are finally one America. And I'll conclude by saying this. Dr. Martin Luther King is a watchword for all of us, is a person for all of us. And here is what he said, in case any of you are giving up hope after we've had a pretty tough week. He said, the arc of history is long, but it bends in the direction of justice. The arc of history is long, but it bends in the direction of justice. It is our job, all of us, 
all of you in positions of authority and power, and every American to help bend that arc of history in the direction of justice a little sooner so our brethren will not have to wait. If we do so, I am confident we will have immigration reform very soon in America. Thank you for the award, and keep up the good work. We will succeed.